Hey guys, here we are again. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing a big episode of Sign Carvers of the Day. If you don't know what that is, it's short, it's SCOTD, and it's where you send pictures of your projects to us and we showcase them on these SCOTD episodes. Today's episode is going from April 2nd to May 1st, 2023. If uh, if you sent me a picture within that time frame and you don't see it here, shoot me an email. Maybe I lost it somehow, but I'll we'll do it again. So here we go. First, we have Brian Burroughs, 24 inch oval, and he hand drew this scene uh, and he did it on a 24 inch oval pine. Fantastic. I love it. I love the black and the, the pine contrast. Um, just looks phenomenal. Great job, Brian. Next, we have Arlene Szyzowski. I'm sorry if I butchered that, Arlene. Arlene's from Canada. This is a brand new uh, sign that she did. This is her very first one. Terrific job, and that had to be tough to do on that uh, round cookie there. So, great job. Welcome to the group, Arlene. Next, we have Mike Rowell. Mike is just doing some phenomenal stuff, has come so far. Uh, obviously, he has a knack for this, super talented. This is two and a half inch thick, solid maple, 16 by 17. Use the carving line of the profile bit, the 60, the 90, and then power carved it. Ob obviously, this guy is super talented. I just love your stuff, Mike. You just keep getting better every sign I see. So, terrific job, buddy. Next, we have Mike McDavid, and this is a Roll Tide sign, so coming up for football season, and uh, very popular. Great job, buddy. Love it. Next, we have Tim Cahoon. This is his 30th sign. It's 12 by 18 Aspen. Use the carving liner, the profile bit, the 60, the 90. Tim's been following us for years. Great job, Tim. I hope you're still having fun, buddy. Great work. Next, we have a really cool one, Roy Smith. This is 18 by 24 Purple Heart Cedar, and Roy made this for a huge YouTube channel, Kent Rollins, and I've watched this cowboy cooking channel for several years. You guys probably all have seen his stuff, and uh, I, I love his channel, terrific. Roy reached out to him, and uh, Kent um, agreed, and if you go and watch some of his stuff, you'll see this sign in the background. Terrific job, congratulations, Roy. Looks great, buddy. Next, we have Kevin Christopher. Custom wavy flag with Marine Corps logo. Absolutely spectacular, buddy. Um, just knocked it out of the park. I love it. Great job, Kevin. Tom Chastain and a couple of uh, beach type signs. I love the coloring, um, the random letter layout on there on the beach vibes. Great job, Tom. I'm sure those are super popular. Next, we have Joseph Ortiz. This is his second sign ever. Made for his sister who is an art teacher and sells her art. Fantastic, I love the, um, the stain around the edge. I th just think it gives it a really great frame and you've definitely got some great color there. For a second sign, that's amazing. Great job, Joseph. Next, we have Alan Smith. His very first sign, Lake Life. I love it. Uh, looks like it wasn't that easy of a sign to carve either. That looks like oak or definitely a hardwood. Great job, especially for your first one, Alan. Next, we have Joe McGraw. Joe McGraw's been following us for a long time. Found this slab. This thing weighs approximately 75 pounds. His wife painted the hummingbirds, and Joe counted 98 rings in this thing. So that's been around a while. Terrific job, Joe. Love it. Next, we have Chris George. This is uh, one of those noodle boards, so it's a stove cover. Very, very popular. Terrific job, buddy, I love it. You know, you guys could make a, a living probably just making these, sto these stove covers. Great job, buddy. Anthony and Joe Kilpatrick in Australia. So uh, this is Joe, and this is, uh, she carved this for a friend and did it out of reclaimed cedar. Uh, I love it. What a great picture. Great, great smile, Joe. I love it. Next, we have Carrie Burns. Very first sign. Used the carving line of the profile bit, the, the quarter inch and eighth inch spiral, and the 45 degree chamfer. Made this for his daughter. Eight by 24 pine. Fantastic job, Carrie, especially for your first sign. Next, we have Trent DeSaltis. And this is a 15 inch cedar. 
uh, and he edge glued his own cedar board and he carved two of them with the grain going both ways. Love it. Great job, Trent. Bob Bowner in Canada he made this for his son. Uh, you, you really make some cool stuff, Bob. I love it. I love your signs. That's the fatty font and use the yellow and the red. Beautiful job, buddy. Rick Simmons. Uh, I think I've met Rick. Rick's actually from our hometown, Manteca, California. And uh, Rick, you just, you killed this one, man. I love it. This is our Rooted in Christ uh, stencil. And I love the the kind of aged look, the rustic look. I just, I think it looks super, super cool, man. I love it. Great job, Rick. Here we have Richard Hotchkiss, and he made this for his niece and his nephew for their high school graduations. Used our wolf stencil and Clarendon letters. And uh, the wolf obviously is the high school mascot where they graduated high school. Terrific job. I know what these chairs are called, but I can't think of what they're called now. But uh, very, very cool. Love it. Great job, Richard. Next, we have Joe Buck. And this is some of his beautiful work. He really specializes in this um, having a natural colored background and then coloring the letters. And I just think it's such a unique style. Joe, um, man, you're killing it. I love it. Absolutely beautiful signs, buddy. Last but not least, we have Deborah North. I remember Deborah and I talked quite a bit about this one. This is for a restaurant up in our restaurant lodge up in Big Bear, California, which we've been to a few times. And this is double sided. She put two circular signs together and um, just killed it. Absolutely love this sign. So great job, Deborah. I love it. All right. There it is, guys. That is Sign Carvers of the Day for, uh, again, April 2nd to May 1st, 2023. Thank you guys so much for sending us your projects. Keep them coming. Email them to me, eric at makerwoodsign.com. If you send them through Facebook, I might not get them, probably not. Emailing them to me is always the best way to get them. And uh, we'll just keep cranking these things out every three, four, five, six weeks. So keep sending them. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We're doing a lot of work. We've got some great things coming up. We would really appreciate you subscribing. We love you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.